Thanks, Bill. We must apologise again if you found any of those images disturbing. It really is an appalling situation, really uh, appalling. <laughs> News just in that Prince Harry has been discharged from King Edward VII Hospital in Windsor following an operation for what we believe to be a foot injury. With me is Terry Devlin, royal expert. Terry, uh, <laughs> uh, a privilege to have you. Here. God's a great pleasure to be here. Hope we're not, uh, not keeping you from any royal duties? Or? Not today, at no. all. <laughs> so, um, could you tell us, just give us a, a, a rough idea of what the Prince will be doing right now? Yes, Peter. Well, having been formally discharged as a patient, the Prince will now be making his way back to one of the royal households. <laughs> Clarence House. Balmoral, perhaps, <laughs> Windsor Castle, or Highgrove, Sandringham, Osborne House on the Isle of Wight, Burke Hall, the Queen Mother's private retreat near Balmoral, Chakras, <laughs> Castle Howard, Alton Towers. <laughs> Great day out for all the family. Whereupon he would then be in residence, as we call it. And, in fact, I imagine he may very well be imminently be having breakfast. If not at this time, then very much, if you like, certainly around this time. <laughs> Any idea of what that breakfast might consist of? Um... Well, of course, knowing the young Prince Harry like I do, that very much depends. <laughs> if His Royal Highness were to feel that perhaps he might benefit from a heartier, more protein-based breakfast, then he could expect to be able to choose from, I don't know, anything from sausages, bacon, beans, tomatoes... Eggs? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> In my experience, eggs have long been part of the possible diet of various members of the Royal Household over many, many generations. Queen Victoria, as we know, for example, there's every reason to believe, may have incorporated eggs into her official routine. Okay. Okay, but uh, <laughs> presumably they don't all sit round and tuck into a full English every day. Oh, no one might well imagine that there might be perhaps a more continental option available. Also, theoretically, muesli or other <laughs> breakfast cereals might also be part of the offering. As also would be fruits of the kind many of us are familiar with ourselves. Oh. <laughs> Presumably even just a piece of toast. There's absolutely nothing to suggest that that's not a very, very real possibility for the Prince. <laughs> or, uh, uh, just quickly, tea, coffee? It could easily be either. <laughs> or hot chocolate. I see. More on that story later, but first, more news on the harrowing aftermath of those Asian floods. Or juice. <laughs>